Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Return of the Samurai, or you'll see there, there's the French, Le Retour du Samurai. And apparently this game was made by the same dev team, Atelier Sento, uh, that created the Yure Station game that I played the other day, which was that really beautiful watercolored point-and-click game that had like all those wacky puzzles and was apparently completely illustrated by high school kids within the span of two days, which is really, really cool. And they made this game actually before that one, and this one, the spin was, it was made in a single afternoon, and all of the art and dialogue was written by, or made, by kids aged 5 to 15. 5 to 15, which is like crazy, that's so young! And yet, here's a full-fledged game based off of their concepts that was made in a single afternoon. So I'm really excited to try this out. Apparently it's a really short point-and-click adventure, but let's go ahead and get started. I already like the music and everything. Ooh, there's our little, uh, guy. The ghost of a young samurai who died at war. Travels through the land looking for his beloved. Oh, that's a sad story. Kids, that's so sad. Why would you write that? <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, all right, cool. So we can move around by clicking, clicking everywhere. Neat. What's this thing? Windmill. All right. Oh, I guess we just grabbed it. We just stole. I guess we're a ghost, so it doesn't really matter too much. I like that I can just fluidly move around the screen and everything like that. Now, apparently, as soon as the drawings were completed by the kids, they were immediately scanned into the game so that they were able to be seen in action right away by the kids, which I think is really, really cool. So we have a little stall here. This guy looks pretty happy here. Whoever drew that guy, that's a good character design there. All right. Ohio, welcome to my humble stall, young adventurer. Dango, onigiri, taiyaki... We have everything you've always wanted. Oh, thank you. Cool. Awesome. So there's some dango, some onigiri, uh, some taiyaki, uh, some uh, daruma, and uh, a bib. I don't know what a bib is. That looks like someone's head, though. That's not... It's like a demon skull. It's not very good. Um, okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's start with something cheap, I guess. Sorry, you don't have any money. Come back when you're richer. Oh, you have zero yen. I see that right in the corner. Okay, so stop shopping. I guess we gotta go get rich somehow. Maybe, maybe you'll take the windmill. You want this? No? You don't want me to sell you the windmill, huh? Okay, well, let's uh, continue on our way, I guess, and try to find something else here. Oh, hello, uh, evil-looking Mike Wazowski fellow hiding behind this lantern. Hi! Boo-hoo, what am I going to do? I'm starving, but I'm not allowed at the stall. <laughs> Why? To be honest, Samurai, last time, I may have lost my temper. Let's say I ate more than a simple bowl of ramen. Yeah? But the stall uh, holder doesn't know you, does he? Take those yen and buy me some food. Okay. Oh, he gave me some yen. Cool. I got a 100 yen coin. All right. What are you waiting for? Uh, I will want my food. Hurry, I'm starving to death. Boo-hoo. Okay, um, I guess I guess we can go get you some food, man. We got enough, I think, for the dongo. Get some dongo. Oh, he's just going to say the same stuff to me. All right, very, very good. All right, man, I can do some business with you. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get the dongo. I'm going to get the don. Oh, maybe I just click it? Oh, okay, I just click it. Excellent choice. Thanks a lot. Feel free to come back. <laughs> I like that it'll serve me, the ghost guy. He's not, like, creeped out by the fact that there's a floating ghost samurai with a sword. But he won't, I mean, I guess that other guy does look pretty intimidating. And we still have 40 yen left. Look at that, 220 yen coins, and we got the dango there. What if I eat the dango, though? Yum, yum, mm, gimme, gimme. No? Okay, damn it. Can't thwart the demon. Can we keep his money, though? Here you go, buddy. Have some uh, dango. What are you waiting for? No, okay. I guess I gotta give it to him. Here you go. At last. Glup, 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 grunch, grunch, grunch. <laughs> it's delicious. I want more. More, more. Okay, dude. Give me more, more, run. Oh, he gave me more money. Oh, I see how this is going to work. We're going to get more and more money until we can finally buy, like, the most expensive thing. Maybe you got to chill out a little bit, though, dude. You got, like, a balding patch up here on top of your head. I think it's probably from stressing out about food so much, sir. Okay, here, let's talk to this guy again. Get something else that looks yummy and delicious. Um, so we have 140, so we have enough for the onigiri. Excellent choice. All right, thank you, sir. Now we have a 25 yen left. Not very much, but 
Enough. Enough, I suppose. Here you go. Have this, yokai man. At last. Clop, 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 clop. <laughs> I want more, more, more. Wow, you are insatiable. Give me more. More, run. Now we have 125. Dude, I don't think that's enough to get the final thing there. I think it was like 200 for the next one. Uh, Yeah, we, we don't have enough, man. Uh, Can we just try to... Sorry, you don't have enough money. God damn it. Um, so we only have 125 yen. So what do we do? Can we trick the demon? Can we give him back his money? Here, dude, have a refund. No? You want the windmill? That's always good. No? Okay. Can we just sneak by him and he's not... Okay, I'm just going to make a break for it with all your money. Oh, what's this? Big old Buddha statue. Hello. There's a small dish. Oh, there's money in there. Can I take that? No? I mean, I'd feel kind of bad stealing the money from the, the offerings dish, but it is what it is. <laughs> There's like a rice ball in there. We could take that and give it to the monster. No, small dish. All right, it's got different numbers of incense. One, two, and five. So maybe it's like small, medium, and large. Yeah, did that do anything? No? Okay. Uh, is this supposed to be... Maybe it's supposed to be large, medium, and then small. Maybe that... Oh, that worked. Okay, cool. Awesome. I was gonna guess that because there was the there was like different numbers of incense that were burning at each dish, maybe they corresponded with the number that was the the first number of each yen coin. Um, but I think maybe that's what it was, and I just did it by chance by doing it in the opposite order. But that's fine. That was an easy puzzle to solve. Okay, we'll continue on our way through all these Shinto gates. Beautiful. Hello, fox-faced person, girl. My mask. I can't give it to you. It's my only toy. It's very important for me. Okay. I'll trade it for nothing in the world. How about a windmill, though? Do you want a windmill? Wow, it's colorful and it turns. It's like a rainbow. It turns, it turns, and it turns. That's right. So you want to trade it for my mask? Sure do. I don't know. I'll miss it. Hmm, okay, it's a deal. Yeah, you don't want a dumb mask. Take care of the mask. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, there's her face. How cute. So we now have a mask, guys. That's right. See, this windmill's way cooler than any dumb mask. It turns, it turns, and it turns. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. I'm so happy. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm just a friendly ghost samurai. Just doing my part here. Can I wear the mask, perhaps? No? Okay, what's this stuff? Fox, fox. Oh, I see what must be done. I must put this fox mask on the fox face. There we go. And then can we... Can, can I do anything else? No? Hello? No, and my, and my uh, inventory is empty as well. I like the background, too. There's a little panda bear, and there's little huts on the hill there. There's more pandas in the background there, and some beautiful rocks, mountains, whatever these are. Looks sort of like they... I guess that's like a tree growing out of the side of the mountain there. Hello again, sir. I don't have any food for you. Uh, What do I do now, though? Do I talk to the... I don't know, demon? You got anything for me, man? I need more, more, more! Take all my money! Hurry! Oh! Oh, okay, so he gave me more money. Now I have a 500 yen coin, which should be enough to buy something big and spicy for him. Yeah, here we go, man. Now I'm loaded. Here you go. So I can buy... I can't buy the Daruma, but I can buy the Bib and the Taiyaki. Do, you want, do I want to buy one at a time, maybe? No, he said that was all his money, so I don't think that he's going to give me any more. So maybe we should buy the bib. Excellent choice. Yeah, no problem. And then the taiyaki as well. There we go. Cool. Awesome. So we got two items. So we can at least give him the taiyaki, and he'll like that. Do you want this, buddy? Crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> Whoa, it's so good. I've never felt so well. I'm full. Mm, maybe a little dessert. Oh, no, my money. I'm broke. Boo-hoo. What am I going to do? Well, I mean, uh, dude, you just ate, like, the entire stall's worth of food anyway. Sorry. All right, you want this bib? Do you want the bib? No? No bib for you? Okay. Goodbye, sir. I'm going to go on my merry way and see if maybe this bib helps with that fox gate that we were up against. How do, how do regular travelers get through here? Because this, this girl was trapped behind the Buddha, and she's trapped between here with the fox gate. She could She can't go anywhere. I guess maybe she can, like, go through the woods here and... Or not the woods, the uh, the grass here and get to one of her huts on the mountain there. Maybe she lives at that 
<laughs> but otherwise, you're just trapped on the road. You can't get by. It's crazy. Why can't I just go around this? All right. So, bib, is this... Oh, I see. Okay, so the one that we put the fox mask on has a bib already. So now I can go ahead. I can put this bib on this fox. There we go. How nice is that? They're matching. You guys coordinated your outfits, and we can go on by. Look at all these Buddha statues here. I love this. I, I like all the layering that's going on here as well. Oh, look at that. A nice little yin-yang sun. That's, that's beautiful. And there's like a guy with like a horse cow thing or something in the background. This is lovely. Very lovely. Lovely scene. Good job, children who draw... Ooh, hello, woman. Oh, is this my beloved that I've been looking for? Hello. Am I dreaming? Is it you? I've missed you. You know, since your death, I've remarried. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> you can leave in peace. Be nice in your next life. Oh, okay, that was enough. Oh, and I turned into a completely different looking samurai. But that's fine. I'm, maybe that's what I look like when I'm at peace. There's a guy who's holding his sword upside down and floats off into space. All right, cool. So that was the whole game, I guess. We found our beloved. We made peace with the world. We helped out a, a little demon guy who wanted some food. And we helped out a girl who wanted a new toy. And pretty nice stuff overall. We gave the, the merchant a bunch of business. And the game restarted there. That's cool. All right. That was a cute little game. I actually really liked that a lot. As far as just like a simple point and click game that was made once again in just one afternoon and was completely written and illustrated by kids from age five. May I remind you? Five, the very young age of five up to 15. That's pretty good stuff right there. I like that a lot. It was a heartwarming tale. And, you know, the puzzles in it, the puzzles actually weren't, like, super, super easy, but at the same time, they were easy enough to, like, get by without any frustration, and it just made it a nice experience. I like that game a lot, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye. Sir Piggly!